Good morning, class 11th. And uh, today we're going to do writing skills. We have finished with the literature part of our syllabus. So now it's uh, time to do a little bit of revision. Okay. Now, do you remember what all you have to do in your writing skills? You have in your writing skills, you have poster making. Remember what you did in your posters in the exam? Yes, we have letter writing. What are the letters that we do? The letters to higher authorities, right? Letters making inquiries, letters seeking permission. And then you have your debate writing also, okay? From your reading section, you also have to do note making. And we'll be practicing that also because it is going to be a part of your reading section. Do you remember note making? Yes, we have uh, done, you know, like yes, uh, those passages in the class also, if you remember. And I hope you have, uh, you know, uh, exercise with you. You have a sample of that. So please, it's a request from my side. All of you make sure that you do your writing skills revision in one notebook. So you're able to find the formats and the examples that we have discussed when you have to prepare for your exams, okay? So we'll be doing uh, the revision of all the topics one by one. So there's no need to panic and there's no need to worry. The only thing that you have to do is try to be regular. Be regular in your classes. If you've not been regular during the, you know, like uh, the teaching periods. So be regular now when we have our revision. Okay, right. So what are we going to discuss today? We're going to do letter writing and letter writing is, yes, we have letter writing to higher authorities. So it could be, yes, for the principal for your employer, you can write about, okay, for any authority also. Naturally, we're talking about any designated authority, okay? Is it visible? So never mind, I'm shifting this side soon. Then, yes, about making inquiries, like uh, you've done here, right? Uh, you're writing a letter to the university, or to any, uh, you know, like academy, they're making inquiries about any course, any, you know, uh, like a subject you want to study, any course you want to do, seeking about admissions, about hostel facilities, about a holiday package, right? So any kind of uh, letters there to the authorities, to for uh, the business purpose, all these that we'll be discussing, okay? Then you have your debate writing, and you have your poster making, right? Now, suppose you have to write a letter and uh, yes, of course, when we are doing uh, this, like writing a letter to higher authorities, so you are there first of all, say you want to conduct an exhibition, right? You want to conduct a talk show. You want to, you know, have a, a lecture series, you want to interact with the students, a career counseling series, say you want to. And uh, so before that, the first step before any kind of event is organized is that you have to seek permission, right? Okay, now which letter are we going to write? We are going to write a letter today seeking permission from the principal to conduct a career counseling session for the students of ninth to 12th classes. What is it? What is our letter? You're going to organize a career counseling session for classes 9th to 12th. So before we write the letter, let us get a few things clear here. So can you tell me what is a career counseling session? What is a career counseling session? Yes, it's very clear. It is giving counseling about careers, right? Yes. And it is very important in this day and age when children are very confused. And uh, yes, uh, on one hand, we say that there are so many opportunities. There are so many things that we can do. But on the other hand, we think uh, that yes, that uh, our options are very limited, right? If you don't go for medicine or engineering or management or uh, all this, then what are you going to do in life, isn't it? So yes, a career counseling session is very, very important. Okay, first of all, yes, 
then how can this career counseling session be conducted? So like say, I, I want to organize this. I want to meet the students of classes nine to 12. How am I going to conduct this career counseling session? You should know what you're going to write about. Yes, can I get replies here, please? Can I get your responses? Yes. Right. So for a career counseling session, how could it be? Yes, you, it could be, yes, about the lectures here, about, uh, you know, telling about the career opportunities. Right? Then it, uh, it could be, yes, uh, talking uh, with the experts or uh, we have uh, the professionals, they're coming to discuss about the career counseling opportunity, uh, you know, like the career opportunities, right? So anything in particular that you want to focus on, right? That is there, you know, like nowadays, yes, we feel that people, right, uh, they're not able to find anything suitable over here. Or even if they do find anything suitable over here, their preferred choice is going abroad, which is a very sad scenario. It, is, it could be lack of awareness, isn't it? So these career counseling sessions, they can create awareness among the students that there are opportunities here also, if you want to, right? And uh, yes, uh, it, uh, here you talk with the experts, you talk with the professionals, you talk with the professors over there who are uh, teaching, right? Then, of course, you will know about the prospects in various profession. Supposing you don't know what is there, you want to do, you want to do journalism, or you want to go in for creative writing, right? You want to go in for, you know, like event management, or all these careers here. So maybe someone is coming to discuss about them, and telling you, how can you join them? How can you become a part of this industry? Right? What are the subjects you have to do? What uh, are your subjects to graduation level? Is there any kind of an entrance test that you have to appear? Where are these institutes? And then, of course, we also want to know that what are the placement opportunities? Naturally, at the end of the day, when you do opt for something, you do take up a course. In the long run, what is it that you want? What? A, a job, isn't it? So yes, you're wondering that, how can this be possible? Now, when we write a letter here, you are writing a letter to the principal. What is your format going to be? Yes. Who is the sender? You are the sender. So it could be, yes, say you are the manager of Epix Council, right, New Delhi. And you are, after the date, yes. Then whom are you writing it to? Say it, yes, it is to the principal. You can write your own school. LCS DPS. Chalandhar, then what is the uh, subject? What is the subject here? Yes. Why am I not getting any responses from you, Nalin, Kinjal? Samriddhi, Aryan, Harshika, yes. Are you attending the class or not? Have you joined the meeting and disappeared somewhere else? It's very bad. Yes, are you there? Okay, Harshika is there. I know, I know you people are there. You're not going anywhere, right? Yes, so in Kinjalos, very nice, good. Okay, so what is the subject here? Seeking. Permission. You know what, I shouldn't be doing all this. I should not be spoon feeding you. You people should be giving me answers, ma'am. This is how it is done. This is what we're supposed to write. But because of this barrier, which is there between us, I, I, I'll call it a barrier, right? This online uh, thing here. So I'm not able to get that response. I'm not getting to you know, see your, the expression on your faces and getting that response from you. 
So I'm assuming that you people are there, what? Blank. And so let me write everything. Is it nice what I'm thinking? That you people are not able to write? You people don't have enough content? Is it right or is it wrong? So say, ma'am, you're wrong. We can write. But if I remember what you did in your posters, then of course it's a matter to be worried about. So please here, students, please get back on track. Start paying attention to your studies, your exams around the corner. You'll be going to the board class. So seeking permission for say uh, counseling. Sorry, for career counseling, isn't it? Right, because the subject has to be informative enough and what the content is about. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you can write down sir or madam or even dear sir slash madam. Give your introduction. That uh, I am the manager of uh, Apex uh, Counseling Service and we are well known in the industry for providing reliable keyword is reliable okay so reliable counseling sessions and informative counseling sessions for uh, school children to help them choose their choice of career isn't it right now what is it that yes um, that as uh, you are a, a reputed school of the city and uh, right you have you're catering to a strength say more than like it's what what uh, say 200 300 students in your classes uh, 9th to 12th and more than that maybe and uh, so we would like an opportunity to interact with the students and provide them counseling on various career options okay right now you have told about yourself given the introduction you've told about yes the purpose of writing then please just give a brief, uh, you know, like a description in the way you think that this counseling is going to be conducted. How is it? What are you going to do in this uh, counseling? Right? Yes. Yeah, so, right. You can say that through a series of uh, informative and interactive lectures from experienced professionals, we would like to interact with the students and provide them information about various emerging career opportunities, right? Then you are going to give a suitable date. Give a suitable date here, that when would you like to meet the, so right? So we would be thankful if you could provide us your school as a venue on the say uh, like what, uh, 9th and 10th of uh, February, right? For interacting with the students okay right so this is it that's it so write a formal letter you're not going to write too much you're not here it will not be having too much of a description isn't it right so yes so you've given your purpose of writing and then get ask talk about briefly a very brief description you can give about uh, what uh, way you are going to conduct right Okay, so you'll have lectures, you can have uh, right, guest speakers, experts, professionals, whatever is there. And uh, what is the way you're going to conduct it? And then, yes, in the end, here, can you see the blackboard? Is it visible? What are you going to give? Give the dates of, or you have your expected, or which is your desired date? Like when do you want to give? You give your dates and then the principal, the authorities will decide if they are available or they're free. You know, the students would be there listening to their talks and their lectures, okay? Right? Yes, so here we are seeking or you're writing a letter here, you're seeking permission. So when you're seeking permission, yes, of course, we're not going to ask questions here. We're not asking questions, but we are giving information. We're telling about ourselves. We're telling about the purpose of writing. We're asking that we want this venue here. And what is it that how we want to interact and talk with the 
students, right? So we want to give them proper guidance. We want to talk to them about their career opportunities, okay? Right? So here, when we write to the higher authorities, naturally here, you write into a principal, right? Of an organization, you're writing a principal of an institute, right? It could be a school, it could be a college, right? Any other higher organization. And it would be the same only that you are requesting, you're seeking permission that uh, can we allow your, uh, uh, you know, to be used your premises for this purpose. Is this clear or not? And then, of course, here, you sign off with your complimentary close, yours truly, give your name, ABC, give the designation, right or wrong? Yes, any doubts, right? So of course here, once again, let me just write down the format, all of you, please remember your format. I think so you've done it what, uh, hundreds of times maybe in all the days uh, that we have been together doing our writing skills, but still I'll give you a reminder, okay? Because what does a teacher have to do? You have your subject, your salutation, then comes your content. Content mein humne kya karna hai? Pehle give your introduction, okay? I am the manager of such and such. And yes, so we are a reputed name in the field of career counseling, right? And especially for, you can say what, uh, secondary school and senior secondary school students, right? Good enough. Then you give your purpose of writing the letter. Okay. Then you seek permission. Permission may give the dates that you want, okay? And last may, conclusion. Conclusion may, humne kya karna? That yes, so we'll be looking forward to an early response and hope that you would give us an opportunity to interact with the students, right? And help them in choosing a, what? A comfortable career, right? Or a happy career or a satisfying career. Right, so it's very difficult to find one like this. And then, of course, we have the close, the complimentary close. That is what? How are you going to end it? Yours truly. Clear or not? Any doubts? Any questions? No, ma'am, we never ever have any doubts and any questions. We know everything. Okay, so make sure. Yes, so thank you, Harshika. God bless you, right? And who is Megha today? And Isha? Can I see them? Are they visible to me? Why can't I see them? Let me have a look. Girls, are you there? Megha is there, yes. Right. Madhu Sudan, do you understand what we're doing? So, uh, right, we missed the test yesterday, or rather we can say we did not have a test this week. So next week, we are going to have our test. It's going to be of writing skills, right? This uh, letter writing and poster making. I can give a debate also. So prepare your writing skills for the test next week. It is going to be a subjective test. And now we're not going to have our multiple choice tests or a Google quiz or a Google form. Any doubts? Any doubts? Now, please, students, remember one thing. In letter writing here, when we are writing letter to higher authorities, fine, as a designated person, which is given in the question. When you are writing a letter to the principal of your school, as a student, how are you going to write that letter? You are going to write the letter as an application, right? So if you are writing, if your parents are writing, your guardians are writing, they will be writing it as a formal letter. Fine. So we, we have a little confusion regarding this. So let this be quite clear. So when we do write letters here in our letter writing skills, this is one thing that you need to remember. So you write into higher authority. You as a student, you are writing to the higher authority of your school. You're writing to the principal. How will a student write a letter to the principal in the form of an application? Okay. Right, you have a problem, you want to leave, 
you want uh, you know like exemption right or you uh, want uh, you know permission to give a test later or you are not able to attend the practicals on time you want to you know attend them on a later date any kind of problem that you want to discuss how you're going to write it you will be writing it in the form of an application and you know the format of an application yes do i need to discuss that with you yes ma'am please discuss it we've not written applications for a long time so help us out isn't it right and uh, uh, i remember when you were coming in for the offline classes also even then you wrote one application these two three students were there seeking my help uh, for writing that application so please remember the format of the application your parents and like they or anybody here like this person writing a letter to the principal it would be in the form of a formal letter clear good okay fine 